Okay, we're gonna. All right, I want to talk to you about the uh, appropriate way to use a uh, a chain breaker tool. So the first thing you need is a file, a flat file. And what you want to do, and don't try and use power tools; it never goes well. But what you want to try and do is grind off as much of that uh, that rivet there as possible uh, with this tool. Just keep on it. it. Just takes a few minutes. Your hands will get a little tired. Uh, it will be fine though. So grind that off as best you can with the flat side of the file. Then on your chain breaker tool, um, you want to put the appropriate uh, rivet pusher. I don't know what those things are called. The little metal piece inside there that moves around. See it? These things. Rods. I don't know. Pin. I, I don't know what they're called, but whatever. You put the appropriate size one in there. You just want to get something slightly smaller than your uh, your rivet. Okay, and uh, then you take a look at your tool here. Notice I, I the the pin moves inside there. Okay, there is a spring that comes with the kit. Uh, if you use it, this usually happens. Just throw that thing away. It's a piece of junk. It's unnecessary too. Maybe it's used for something else. I don't know everything, even though I claim to. So, you don't want to put this top set, this guy right here, you don't want to screw that all the way in. You want this pin to retract fully. So what we're going to do is, on the back side of the rivet, rivet um, we're going to put this end over here, the left side, and on the front of the rivet, we're going to push this up against it, the, the hollow end. If you notice, it's, that lines it up. And what that does is it keeps your uh, pin from moving around on the rivet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that just like this. Oh, lines it out too far. Sorry. Okay, so now that we've got this on there, and we now we can start screwing this end in. We'll just keep doing it. Trying to work one-handed here. Sorry about that again. And now we can take this part of the tool and uh, put that through there. And you notice here, it's all the way in. The rivet's right there. And, I, and if I can situate it, we should be able to just pull that rivet right out. There you go. That's not broken.